Hey guys, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today I want to show you eight places to explore in the Yosemite Valley in the winter. Yosemite National Park is massive with tons of things to do. In the winter, many of the main roads are closed though, so I wanted to share this video featuring some of my favorite places to explore in the valley. First up, no trip to Yosemite is complete without visiting Tunnel View. Tunnel View is the first thing most people see when they visit Yosemite Valley from the south entrance, and it is easily one of my favorite views in all of California. I've been a dozen times, but it never fails to take my breath away. In the winter, it's particularly special since the mountains and Half Dome are usually covered in snow. Plan to spend some time soaking it all in, and it's definitely a great spot for sunrise and sunset as well. Next up is Bridal Veil Fall. Bridal Veil is one of Yosemite's most popular waterfalls and one of the easiest to access in the winter. You can get some great views of the waterfall just from the parking area, or you can take the quarter mile trail up to the viewing platform to get a better view. It's a nice short walk in the winter, but definitely bring traction devices for your shoes if it's icy. My third recommendation is just to take some time exploring the valley's quick stops. First, on the drive in, you'll get some great views of El Capitan towering in front of you. Next up, you can park near Swinging Bridge and walk across for some good views of the valley and Yosemite Falls. Also, you can continue walking down the trail next to the road, get more views of Yosemite Falls, and see the Yosemite Chapel, which is always awesome in the snow. Lastly, head over to Sentinel Bridge, which is one of my favorite views of Half Dome and has a great reflection off the water. Recommendation number four is Mirror Lake. In the winter, Mirror Lake is one of the best easy hikes you can take in the valley. You can't park near it, so you have to take the shuttle, but the flat road that you hike is nice when it's covered in snow, and along the way it gives you some great views of Half Dome. At the end, you may see the lake if it's not frozen over and covered in snow, but even if you can see it, this is a beautiful area to explore with many great views and a nice hike for the whole family. Next up is Yosemite Falls. Yosemite Falls is the tallest waterfall in North America and an amazing place to see in the winter. The falls are usually flowing well and there's a good chance that there will be snow and ice surrounding the water. Just walking to Lower Falls gives you fantastic winter views and it's easy to do since the walk is pretty flat. If you happen to be there when most of the snow has melted, you may even be able to climb to the top of Yosemite Falls if you want to. That's a pretty tough hike though and I have another video you can watch on that in the description. Stop number 6 is Ansel Adams Gallery and the Museum. If you're a fan of photography, then you've no doubt heard of Ansel Adams, one of the most famous photographers from this area. There's a gallery dedicated to him in the valley that I always love exploring, and next to it is the Yosemite Museum which tells the story of the Native Americans that lived in the valley as well. The museum has some small exhibits inside and then some larger exhibits outside. It's not plowed outside in the winter, but it's still pretty cool to walk through the snow and see how the teepees fare in the winter weather. My seventh recommendation is Cook's Meadow. Cook's Meadow is one of my favorite views in Yosemite Valley. This meadow is right next to Yosemite Falls and provides great views of Half Dome and Yosemite Falls through the trees. It's a great spot to hang out while you're in the valley and if you have the chance, come here for photography at sunset as the sun often lights up Half Dome in the distance and it's really incredible to see. My last recommendation is to do some snowshoeing. If you're in the valley when they've had a lot of snow and you have your own snowshoes, then you can explore to your heart's content. However, if you don't have your own and want to try them, you can head up to the Yosemite Ski and Snowboard area where they rent them and take them out on the 7 mile trail to Dewey Point. This is a tougher hike as it's higher in elevation and it's relatively long, but if you have a half day, it's a great adventure that gives you crazy views of the valley below you. That's it. Hopefully you found some new spots to explore next time you're in Yosemite Valley in the winter. Let me know what I left off in the comments and you can go to CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com for more.